With the holiday rush upon us, I wanted to share a little secret with you. It's all about making life a tad bit easier during this hectic season, and guess what? You probably already have everything you need right in your own home to create a beautiful Thanksgiving atmosphere. We're talking about creating a warm and inviting Thanksgiving without breaking the bank or stressing out. It's all about finding beauty and simplicity, appreciating what we have, and being grateful not just on Thanksgiving, but every single day. Creating a welcoming environment for Thanksgiving starts with not worrying about your home being Pinterest perfect, but rather being thankful for what you do have while making an effort to welcome guests with open arms and a grateful heart because hospitality isn't about the size of your home but the size of the heart within it. I like to have a blank canvas before I start decorating and also a clean canvas. We've had a couple small projects going on in our home that's required some sanding, which it looks like most of it has landed on my dining room table. The tablecloth I am using is just some fabric I found at the thrift store last year for maybe $5 that I turned into a tablecloth. And since I cannot sew, I use some hem adhesive to hem the ends. I probably didn't measure this the correct way, but nonetheless, it turned out perfect for my table. spend any money decorating for Thanksgiving because the food alone is going to cost some money. So I shocked my home and I'm using dried eucalyptus that I've had for years along with my DIY wooden candelabra which I shared in my holiday prep video. This year for my table setting, I am going with simple white plates and silver trays as my chargers. 
Last year, I did a mismatch of plates that had a fall theme, but this year I wanted a more simple look. I am on the hunt for two upholstered chairs to put on the ends of the table because the two I currently have are just a bit small and puny compared to the other ones. Last year, my sister-in-law made these cute little place settings with everyone's name and the same people come to Thanksgiving every year. So I thought I don't need to make new ones. Why not just revamp these a little bit with using a little bit of dried oranges and pine cones. It's hot, babies. It's hot. Watch out. Move your head. Good boy. Good boy. You can't have dried oranges, baby. They're not good for doggies. I love making dried oranges. They are so easy and inexpensive to make. You want to be sure you cut your oranges anywhere between an eighth to a quarter of an inch because anything larger will take forever to dry out. And before you place the oranges on a pan lined with parchment paper, you'll want to thoroughly press out any excess liquid just by taking a paper towel and pressing down on them. You'll be placing these in an oven at 200 degrees, flipping them every 30 minutes for four to six hours. These last a long time as long as they stay dry. I have some from three years ago that I still use during the holidays.
all the pine cones were just gathered in the front yard. And last year I did some essential oils on here. I think it may have been just cinnamon, but they still smell. They're not as strong as they were last year, but all of these hopefully Maybe when gathered together on the table, you can smell some of the cinnamon, but really easy to do and really an easy DIY to make your own cinnamon pine cones. Appalachian sunrise. Cinnamon pine cones are another easy DIY. After bringing your pine cones in, you will want to bake them in a 200 degree oven for 45 minutes just to be sure you kill any critters that are still left on them. And be sure you line your pan with foil for easy cleanup. Allow them to cool and then add as much or as little cinnamon essential oils as you would like. Seal them up and for maximum smell, allow them to sit for five days. Getting these cards to stay on the pine cones was a bit of a balancing act, but after a few, I started to get the hang of it. I love using my buffet in my living room. Her name is Elizabeth. I love using her as an appetizer and dessert bar. These chafing dish stands are my go-to to make a buffet feel elegant, and you can usually find them in a thrift store for a few dollars.
and the key to making the tray stay in place is to use Museum Putty. The last detail I needed to add to my tablescape were the candles. I wanted some burnt orange or rust color candles, couldn't find just the right color, so I went with these burgundy candles from Amazon, which they were actually the only items I purchased for this tablescape. I'll be with you. 